I'm a smooth talking black male born in the 90s, so I guess he called me Game Boy Color. Um, first, let me, um, let me tell you that I'm a junior at uh, Columbia. I had a bad first year, uh, my freshman year. I got a 1.8 and a 1.2. <laughs> when you see numbers like that, you would like get happy if it was only like gas prices. <laughs> um, and the thing is, like a lot of people, they misjudge me, you know, because they see me with glasses and they automatically think, he's smart, he's studious, he might be the next president of the United States. But like when I take my glasses off, child molester. <laughs> <laughs> or, or like, when I have my glasses on, you know, I should let him tutor my kids. Glasses off. What are kids? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'm, my birthday is on December 13th, which is the last day of the semester. I'm excited for that. Turn up, turn up. Um, and the reason why I'm excited because I'm gonna be 22, and my 21st birthday was like uneventful. It was uneventful because like. I'm straight edge. And if you don't know what straight edge means, it means that you don't drink, you don't smoke. My 21st birthday was boring. I don't drink, I don't smoke. That's so many missed opportunities. That's like Whitney Houston being at a crack house with no lighter. <laughs> um, my girlfriend is out in the audience, the one with the fedora matching. And um, I like my girlfriend, I love my girlfriend. Um, the reason why is because, you know, she was so much different than my ex-girlfriend. Um, my ex-girlfriend, we had way too many differences between each other. Um, so many differences. For instance, I'm a dog person, and she was a cat person. I'm a person that likes this weather, the cold weather. She's a person that likes hot weather. I'm a Sagittarius, she was a bitch. She just doesn't work like that. <laughs> and like, the, the, the breakup wasn't that bad. Actually, it really wasn't that bad. Um, karma struck. She got hit by a car not too long ago. And a lot of you guys are like, oh, that's so sad. But it's like, it's not really that sad because she bounced right back up. I know because I looked in my rear view mirror. <laughs> um, I told myself that like, the next girlfriend I get, the next girlfriend I get, I want her to be a virgin. I want her to be I want her to be like God's version of pressing seal tight, you know, because like I, I don't want to be with a girl that looks like Harry Potter's sleeve, you know, her vagina looks like a Harry Potter sleeve. <laughs> oh, shit. Another thing I can't do is, sorry, but I can't be with big women and don't, don't feel, you know, when I say big women, I'm going to make up a term right now. I'm just going to call them Grumopolis. And like what I mean by Grumopolis, if you don't see the image in my head, Grumopolis is a woman with back titties. <laughs> and like back titties, like if you could imagine, remember the Sarah McLaughlin commercial? It's a woman that looked like she could breastfeed four babies at the same time. <laughs> you know? And um, the reason like I can't be with a big woman is because like size difference. Size, look at me. I'm 140 pounds. She could be 240 pounds. I'm dietized. She's an extremely plus sized. Wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. Hefty, hefty, hefty. <laughs> and like, imagine we walking down the street, we like number 10, you know? And um, I can't be with a big woman because it's like, it's a lot of work. Like, imagine, imagine the sex with me and a big woman. Like, it's, it's hard to do. It's like, you gotta lift up the folds to find the vagina. It's like playing with a touch screen phone. It's like, all right, baby. Watch this. <laughs> and then imagine if I fall in. Like, if I fall in, you know they don't look for black people in Amber Alerts. <laughs> Especially if you're in Amber. 
Um, um, I went to my uh, cousin's church last year in Vegas, and I can say that it will be the last time I go to that church. The reason why is because um, it, it just had like way too many scams, and as in like trying to get your money, it was like a hustle. Like we walked in kind of late, and like they was in the middle of singing the song. There's like the Lord is blessing me right now, right now, right now. And then the lead singer came in there all cool. <laughs> How many of y'all can say the Lord is blessing you? How many of y'all can say the Lord is blessing you? He woke you up this morning. And that deserves five dollars. He put food on your table. And that deserves ten dollars. He put clothes on your back. And that deserves twenty dollars. If I could put up ten dollars in the air, you should put up a uh, twenty. If I could put up twenty dollars in the air, you should put up a forty. Don't be stingy with the Lord. He accepts debit or credit. Now pass around the collection plate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a TV major at Columbia, and like one of my favorite TV shows will forever be um, TMZ, because I love watching celebrities go to jail. <laughs> like, one thing I, I can't stand to see is when singers go to jail. Like, it, imagine if Trey Songz go to jail. Like, singers are soft when they go to jail. Trey Songz leave jail. Oh, I wish I never did it. <laughs> or, 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 how about this? God rest his soul. God rest his soul. But I believe when James Brown went to jail, he was raping people. Like, could you imagine him walking in there? Get up off the floor! <laughs> I feel good! <laughs> this is a man's world! <laughs> or, 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 or. What if it was Prince? What if Prince went to jail? I think Prince would enjoy himself a little bit too much. <laughs> I said, do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I'm so cold. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Andy Feds. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Andy Feds Comedy. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys. Like Boyd Mayweather, love Thank you guys.